Bab. Hold it, hold it. Sat's not a word. Can't you see? I used an app, and that made Zach. That's not okay. Not okay? Why, I say... Well, actually, the word Bab as a building came from the other countries. Professor Quigley. Wow! Wow! I thought this word never exist, but it does. But of course, the word bad is an African word that is a tower with a dragon face on it or something. Sorry, I cannot pronounce that word. Well, I do. It's bad. They. Just a. Another place word. That's good, but of course, the word cafe means a coffee shop who lets any people to buy some tea and coffee. Maybe Wilkins Coffee. So I don't think it was spelled last year, but I can do it in the water. Facade. Another word? Oh, oh yeah, of course. But yes, the word facade means a face or a front of the building. Oh, wow! Snowball! Lovely! Ah, uh, come on. How do I get down from here, you lay Alex? Because you always say white friends a lot, you need to stop. Why, Emmy, why do you hate me saying wild friends? That was not very nice of you. Yes, far calling. How's the to kiss off that little pink head off? I uh, shut up, Duima. Do you? What a piece of me, Emmy. Then let's bring it on. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh wow. Another word got just arrived or printed or sorts. But anyways, the word edge means the boundary of a surface. It also means a cliff when you are looking at the deep sea while a forest is behind you. Don't you dare. Yes, you Disaster! D E G D It looks like they are more words to be found again, because the word Deeg means a historic town and municipality in Paratpur district in the state of Rajasthan, India. So this is the story when the letters B, D, E, and G are looking for A, C, F, and H, because they are lost at the chaff wheat farm. B, E, G. Beach. What did you- Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite words in my dictionary. Because I know what it means the word beach means a pebbly or a sandy shore that the ocean or water and the sand are between each other. That's what the kids and characters can play on the beach to play sand castles, beach ball, and mostly importantly, swimming. So that means we're gonna play something on the beach. But this time, the Alfarina. I don't think so. Well, that was a cha-cha-cha conga dance. But anyways, the word Chad means a country from Africa. It's about this flag who has three colors on it. Blue, yellow, and red. Lush! Lush! 
Musk head makes <laughs> e Beach head. Looks like there is gonna be a building word uphill battle today, because the word beachhead means a temporary line created when a military unit reaches a landing beach by sea and begins to defend the area as other reinforcements arrive, so that also means they are having a war at the beach. A. A. I. A. A. I. What a success. Fantastic! Wow! So that's what is the 100th word of this, because the word A, A, I, means the alphabet arcade park insanity, that they are lots of contestants in the arcade park building words in the dictionary tree, getting ridding of the apes and ads until the whirlpool war, and most importantly, the nickname of the alphabet character elimination, created by Cole's Ultimate Channel, or Cole the Space Thingy of course. It was released at November 1st, 2021, instead of day two, and he uploaded 148 episodes. <laughs> Another word is found. The word Jeddah is a city from Hejaz region of Saudi Arabia, and the country's commercial center. It has 4 million people in 2021. They also had the 36th largest seaport in the world. Sorry, I forgot. Fiji. What a word. You know, the word Fiji is a country from Oceania, that it has clear lagoons, palm lines, beaches, and coral reefs, and rugged landscapes. K. F. C. KFC. Hopping hopsticks. Another word about a company is here, because the word KFC means a fast food restaurant that you eat fries or cheeseburgers or chicken fingers with your Fruitopia drink. You guys look totally stupid. Lake. Oh, cool. Another perfect word is here. The word lake is an area filled with water that you cannot swim in the lake, but you can at camp. But if you go to the park, they are ducks, geese, turtles, fishes, and maybe frogs are in this lake, which means the lake is not deep, however, because it's a little too shallow to touch the ground. Oh wow. This word means a big thing you can explore. The word cliff means the edge of the land and the sea or lakes. But remember, do not fall from the cliff. If you do, then you will get hurt by those rocks. Also, did you know there is a character who is stuck on the cliff while he is hanging for a long time? Well, his name is Cliffhanger. You wanna watch? Well, let's go then.
Excuse me. Excuse me. We find Cliffhanger where we left him last, hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. Suddenly, Cliff notices that a circus has been set up below his cliff. The crafty cliffhanger reaches into his backpack and extracts his trusty survival manual. Using his celebrated decoding skills, Cliff begins to read. If you see that a circus has been set up below your cliff, look for the trapeze artist's net and jump into it. There's the net. It's that circle there. Look out below. Here I come. Can this be it? Has Cliff finally escaped from his cliff? Oops. Ladies and gentlemen, before your very eyes, a man will be shot out of a cannon. Three. And that's why he's called Cliff Hanger. Can't hold on much longer. By chance, Cliff looks up and spots a bunch of chuckling chickens clutching a chain with a chair on the end of it. Quickly, Cliff reaches into his backpack and extracts his trusty survival manual. Using his champion decoding skills, Cliff begins to read. If you spot a bunch of chuckling chickens clutching a chain with a chair on the end of it, ask them to get you down. Get me down! Uh, what does down mean? I'll look it up in my trusty chicken dictionary. Down. The soft feathers of young birds often used to make pillows. <laughs> But down has another meaning, too. It's the opposite of up. <laughs> Enjoy your down. And you can keep the chain. And that's why he's called Cliff. Can't hold on much longer. <laughs> really? Are you trying to do a word madness today? Well, the word hill is a naturally raised area of land, not as high or craggy as a mountain, which means there are no cracks and no bumps at the hill. Also, you can roll down the hill when it's fun, but don't get itchy by those grass. Also, at the winter time, the kids can ride on the sled to have a ride on a hill for a race or something. <laughs> Alex, yeah. what's going on? Field. Steve. Oh, cool. Another location word is here. The word field is an area of land, enclosed or otherwise, used for agricultural purposes such as cultivating crops or as a paddock or other enclosure for livestock. It has been found that these borders may lead to an increased variety of animals and plants in the area but also, in some cases, a decreased yield of crops. But if you look closer at the fields, they are sunflowers or wheat or just grass. Grass? <laughs> <laughs> the fields also belong to the farm. E. E. Is this South American? Well, the word Chile is a country from South America, and the capital of the this country is Santiago. Do you think a character named Bobby Santiago lives this place with his brother? Good. Glade. Is this a location? Well, the word glade is an open area within a forest. Is that all you got? 
Ledge. First edge, then cliff, and now this. Well, of course, the word ledge is the location of cliffs or edges that when you remember and don't fall from the ledge of the cliff, you know, as seen on this cliffhanger episode. Don't you dare! <laughs>